Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to take a look at the Section Cut tool. So as we've been making these videos, this question's actually come up multiple times. Uh, people have asked for this particular tool. So uh, we kind of pushed it up the list, and we're going to look at Section Cut tool, and we're going to take it right now. Okay, so I have a little bit of geometry here, just a little little tiny house based on this window. It's maybe a playhouse or something. I don't know. It's a little little thing. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, and we have Sal here standing over to the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how to use a section cut tool. So I know in a lot of these videos we talk about, okay, how to use it with touch and the two different pencil modes and use it with mouse. Um, it's very simple tool. So I'm gonna place it once and, and this, it, it's going to be the same process for regardless of your input tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, it's not part of the default tool set over here. So you do have to go to the overflow menu and we hit the little ellipse at the bottom and here is create section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create section. Now this does bring up a sub menu where you can lock to the different axes, but I would highly recommend starting this tool by simply placing it on a face. So whether you're using that with touch, either pencil mode or mouse, what I would do is come in here and click on the face that you want the cut to be parallel to. Now, not every single section cut is gonna be parallel to one face, but I would say a majority of the time you place a section cut, it's gonna to align to one face in your model. We'll talk about how to, to make those odd cuts that are off axes in just one second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and kind of hover and I'll see this green, my, I am touching the screen right now with, with my, my my, or my, my pencil, and I can see as I kind of drag around and go on different surfaces, it's gonna to jump to those surfaces. So I'm in click move, click mode right now, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hard press on this one face, and it places the section. Once that section is in, it is going to cut whatever geometry it crosses, and I can interact with it like I would any other geometry inside of SketchUp for iPad. So if I wanna take this section cut and move it down, to, say to the middle of the window, all I have to do is come in here, select it, and I'll pick on it, it'll highlight. So I do get a, a menu at the bottom. We'll come back to this in just a minute and we'll talk about the options we have in here. First, I wanna finish talking about moving it. To move it, I'm just gonna to go to the move command. Once I'm on move, I can just kind of click here and use this just like I would any other geometry. You can see as I move it through the model here, it cuts through whatever geometry it crosses. This is what a section plane does. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there uh, where it's cutting through that window. I was mentioning before, if I wanted to be this off axis, I wanted to like turn it or something like that. Again, with it selected, I can use the rotate tool and just come in here, pick a point to rotate around, and then I can put that at whatever angle I want. You see, I'm just kind of swinging that back and forth. And again, it's still cutting geometry as I swing it. And if I have a specific angle I want to cut at, I could type that exact angle in right here, just, just using the rotate tool like you normally do. Perfect, very simple. Um, I think with a lot of people, they have questions or concerns about how the section cut tool works because they want it to be more complex. Not they, they expect it to be more complex than it is, but it's a simple cutting face that you move through your model just like you would any other geometry. So if this was just a rectangle, how would you move it? That's how you move section plane. It just happens to cut whatever it hits. So I mentioned before that uh, I have some options here. If I click this, I do have some, some simple options like hide or invert selection. That's not specific to the section tool. What is, is the rest of this down here. So what I can do is I can click here, I can say reverse cut. So that's going to cut the opposite direction. So you can see it's still cutting my house in half. It's still filling the section, but it's doing it the opposite direction. I have some other options down here. Um, I can activate or deactivate the cut. So deactivating the cut doesn't get rid of the cut from my model. It just turns it off. So you can see it's still here. So I could deselect it. I could reselect it, come in here and activate it again, and then it will go in and start cutting again. Not every section cut in your model has to be active all the time. In fact, you can only have one active cut at a time, but this allows you to quickly and easily change that cut. I have another option which is called line view. This is kind of nice, uh, especially if you're creating scenes for, for like uh, presentation or something like that. If I hit a line view, it's gonna put my camera so I'm looking straight at that 
view. So as I come in here, I'm, I'm directly lined up with that view, which is kind of a nice way to, uh, you know, like I said, get set up and look directly at that, that uh, cut that I made. Um, I have some other options here, like create group from slice. That's going to actually create a group of 2D geometry that's going to be this exact drawing. So if I click on that, I get that group and I can, here, let's, let me do this. Let me go grab this and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And you see that line that's stuck around afterwards. I'm going to grab that and move it. And you can see that's, that's, what, that's the group from slice. That's what it made. So it made the geometry that was just that 2D slice of that face. Again, really nice way to get that geometry created uh, as I'm, I'm working through here. And then finally, I have another option here, which is troubleshoot section fill. So you can see right now, it very easily went in and it said, okay, here's your solid face for this section. No problem, super easy. If for whatever reason this was broken, it didn't fill it in, hitting troubleshoot section fill will run around the geometry you have and highlight spots where it potentially is causing this fill not to happen. So there is always a chance that uh, your geometry doesn't close all the way if I had had like, you know, like the, the line was missing at the top of the sill of the window or something like that, it wouldn't fill it in properly. That can happen and troubleshooting will show you that. Speaking of that section fill, uh, you can see it is filling that in right there. If I come over to my styles and I look at my modeling settings, I do have the option to show section fills, which can be turned off. And see if you turn it off, you're looking inside that cut rather than having that face filled. And if I do want to fill that face, I can actually set the color to. Right now it's blue because it's highlighted. If we come out here and deselect, it'll turn back to black, but I can actually change that. So if I want to have, you know, some other color, some some brighter color in there, filling that in. I could turn that on too there in my styles pane specific. I know we haven't covered it, dove into the styles pane in square one yet, but we will. But if I want to, that's just the option of turning that on and off, which is kind of important for that section fill. Uh, but that is about it. Like I said, a lot of times people get into section cuts and they make it very, very difficult and they want to, want to, uh, you know, put a lot more mystery or intrigue into how section works, but it's basically just a plane. It will automatically resize to cover your entire model. So you can see this goes a little bit bigger on the right side. That's because Sal's hanging over in this plane. So as we look over here, see that? So it's outlining all the geometry. It's bigger than that. So in fact, if I come in here, if I was to erase Sal, watch what happens to my section plane. It shrinks because now it doesn't have to be that big to catch Sal if it moves. So it's a rectangle that automatically resizes around all your active geometry. And as you move it, it cuts, but that's about it. It's a pretty simple tool. Uh, once you get it in there, move it around where you need it to be to cut that, the geometry and see your section. So hopefully that helps you keep it simple. Hopefully you understand how that works. Uh, like I said, it's not a complex tool to use. Uh, it's pretty easy to get in there and use. Uh, once you get it on there, just move it around till it's cutting what you want to cut and then keep it active and it will do that. You can tie that to scenes. You can, uh, you know, visualize intentionally with that. You can turn it on and off, but uh, the section cut itself is a pretty simple tool to use. Uh, hopefully that helped you. If so, go ahead and drop a like and maybe a comment down below and please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, like I said, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear what you think, what you think of this tool, which one should we cover next? We like making these videos a lot. We'd like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.